the best tech gadgets and equipment to will turn your car into a small smart room, part 1. I think that the vacation is approaching, and you have to prepare your car with some equipment to spend a wonderful and comfortable vacation while you are in your car. I bought my car 7 years ago, and I never thought of making it a place for my comfort, but when I decided to travel with my car, I found that I needed some equipment that would make my car a comfortable place for me, so I worked on discovering how to use it as a small mobile home. And through my research on the channel Future 2099, I found that there are many products out there for exactly this purpose, so I did my research and made a selection of equipment. Falcon Wild Peak A. T. Trail. This is why the first thing I got for my CRV was a set of Falcon Wild Peak AT Trail tires. They are, as far as I know, the first and only all-terrain tire built specifically for crossovers. Somehow, they do everything really well. They're lightweight for a crossover's drivetrain, and you get solid fuel economy on the highway but they are USTMA rated for severe snow and perform almost as well as a dedicated snow tire. This winter I drove on some very steep, very icy roads in Yosemite and the Angeles National Forest. Pickup trucks with 4WD were pulling over to put chains on, and others were spinning tires and fishtailing badly. My car acted like it was glued down and didn't slip once. It was truly impressive. Depending on what type of road trip you plan to take, you might want to upgrade your tires. BF Goodrich All-Terrain K02. You can take heavier tires while you have a bigger car than mine. I have had good luck in the past with BF Goodrich All-Terrain K02 tires they have excellent off-road grip and are surprisingly quiet on the highway. Chains. Security Chain Super Z6, price varies, but $90 for two. Some winter roads require you to at least carry snow chains on your vehicle. If you are stopped and don't have them, you're looking at a steep ticket at the very least and will likely be turned back. Because I got the aforementioned Falcon tires, I didn't actually have to use my chains at all this winter but I did pass through several checkpoints with rangers ensuring that I had them. I went with the Super Z6 tire cables. They are much easier to install than traditional chains. You don't have to move your car midway through, thanks to the bungee-like system. They're also a lot quieter while driving. If you have an AWD or 4WD car, Make sure you have a chain for all four tires, and make sure you've practiced installing and removing them before you head out. Luno Air Mattress 2.0. Cars, crossovers, and SUVs were not generally designed with sleep comfort in mind. Coming from a van with a full-sized memory foam mattress, I suspected this would be the toughest adjustment for me, and I was correct. Air will just never be as comfortable as foam. That being said, I did find an air mattress that made the transition easier. The Luno Air Mattress 2.0 is specifically designed for campers who want to sleep in the back of their SUV or crossover. You can inflate the whole thing if there are two of you, or if you like to spread out, or you can just inflate one side if you'd rather use the rest of the space for gear. It comes with an electric pump that plugs into your car's DC outlet, and it inflates quickly to a very cushy height of 4 inches. Jackery Solar Sage 100W. I was pleasantly surprised by how efficient these portable solar panels are. They fold in half and magnetically click shut which keeps them clean and safe in between uses, but when they open up, they have a solar conversion efficiency of up to 23%, which is extremely high for a portable panel. You can daisy chain up to four of them together to refill your portable power station quickly. I threw two of these panels on top of my car and ran a cable down through a crack in the sunroof to the Explorer 1500. It went from 92% full to 100% full by the time I was finished with breakfast. 
weighing 9 pounds each and measuring 24 by 21 by 1.4 inches they are a bit bulky, but at least they fold flat, so they don't take up a ton of trunk space. Dometic CFX 3-35 for cooking. One of the major advantages of van life was having a fridge that I could keep full of fresh produce. Fortunately, there's an incredibly straightforward solution, electric coolers. They have the same basic shape of a standard cooler you put ice into, but it's essentially a small fridge inside. The Dometic CFX3 line was the no-brainer way to go. Not only do they have solid capacity, but they are well insulated and absurdly efficient. I ended up going with the 35 liter size, allowing me to quickly grab an ice cold drink while knocking out long miles. It plugs into the DC outlet on the Jackery Explorer, and even though I kept it turned down to a frosty 37 degrees Fahrenheit, it only drained the battery 8% over the course of 8 hours. So, it serves as a mini-fridge next to my couch when in between trips. Ember Travel Mug 2 with Car Charger. Look, this is absolutely a luxury item, but I love it unabashedly. Yes, you can just pour your coffee into a double-wall thermos-type bottle, but then it will stay lip-burningly hot for an hour. The Ember Mug has a built-in battery and electric heater, so it will drop down to your favorite temperature and then keep it there. For me, that turns out to be 133 degrees F. It has a digital display that shows you what temp it's at, and allows you to adjust on the fly, and it will keep your beverage at that temp for up to 3 hours. Blackout Shades The most important thing you can do for your safety when sleeping in your vehicle is to not be seen. For that reason, I think blackout shades are a critical upgrade. I know a lot of people make their own out of felt and velcro, but I just went ahead and bought a full vehicle kit from WeatherTech. You punch in your year, make, model, and they'll send you a blackout shade for every window in your car, 8 separate panels for my CRV. There's a black side and a reflective side, depending on what temperatures you're dealing with, but either way, you just pop them into place, and they stay put. You can still crack windows even with them in, and they'll keep people from seeing who, if anybody, is inside, which is mandatory for urban boondocking. We have many products that you will love and be amazed with. These are just a few of the best technical gadgets and equipment that we have offered, so do not forget to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, and support our channel to continue. See you soon.